if you watched the Shang-Chi movie, perhaps you are wondering where were those dreaded rings that are mentioned in the movie's title, because you only saw some bracelets there hung on people's arms. Well, it turns out that the producer has stated why they decided to change the famous 10 rings that the Mandarin wears, that the Mandarin is famous for and they traded them in for some bracelets. To begin with, they are not bracelets properly mentioned, they are Hongogar. Uh, bracelets or iron bracelets or kung fu bracelets these are used in kung fu training to develop strength in the arms and also they are used for relaxation they are used as massaging instruments for the arms and also for the legs they originally come from the shaolin temple and that is why you see them prominently in some movies that talk about precisely that the shaolin temple and the explanation comes from one of the producers and we have here from Boundary to Comics this information that Schwartz, who was one of the producers, Mr. Schwartz, says that, well, the Ten Rings uh, looked sort of goofy. <laughs> Let that sink in. The Ten Rings looked goofy. Coming from a company that dedicates to write like 20 jokes for two minutes of footage and uh, make no mistake my friends Shang-Chi is also filled with lots of jokes and that now trademark right Disney Marvel humor yes this movie also has lots and lots and lots of it it's become a staple and yet <laughs> they come up with this oh no the rings are too goofy to be used don't use them <laughs> anyways according to mr schwartz the inspiration came to the writers room when they were trying to decide what to do with the rings because they didn't want to use the actual rings the finger rings I mean and they were watching the 36th chamber of Shaolin of Shaolin temple it is a very good movie from the 1970s it has other parts like return to the 36th chamber and another movie it's a trilogy of films and let me tell you that the first one is the best of the bunch in my opinion because it talks about some truths that many people in the west ignore about the shaolin temple for instance that the kung fu style that the monks in the temple developed was only used for their own defense against raiders and marauders and people that went to desecrate the temples it was never taught to any outsiders and it was certainly not used to help outsiders or the villages unless that implicated peril to the temple and because of that accuracy there i believe that this movie is really really good and if you thought that i didn't know what i was talking about <laughs> well guess again because i am not only a fan of pop culture and entertainment i am also a huge kung fu fan so i know what i'm talking about and they were watching this film and at the beginning of it the main character is already in the usual Shaolin shaved hair style and with the usual attire which is this sort of uh, garment that you wear as pants and the person is training with these hunga rings and the idea that's what they said don't on the writers to swap <laughs> the rings for these bracelets just like that now as i told you this instrument is a well-known instrument to shaolin martial arts martial arts training but the reality is that 
the excuse that they provide for the change, that it looked too goofy, or that it sounded like a goofy idea, coming from a company that devotes most of their time to throw in joke after joke after joke, even in serious moments, such as, for instance, the destruction of Asgard and how it was treated like a funny joke by that imbecile Taika Waititi's character of Korg, because he voiced him. Well, it's just a staple and an indication of how ridiculous sometimes these jokes are and how misplaced also they are inside the films. <laughs> and to come up with the idea, oh, sorry, we forgot that, uh, the, that we were serious. We are trying to be serious now, we are trying to treat this with respect, so forget about looking at the rings, they look goofy, they are stupid, we don't want them, <laughs> we are going to swap them, we are going to use instead of these bracelets, you know, because banks are in the return, you know, and now everyone is going to be <laughs> wearing them, it's just the Hongba are, you know, instruments for training, they are not used in this form so lightly, but anyways, it's just a marvel and you have to get used to it, this is the new thing, I can only hope that Shang-Chi is a successful movie because it's not that horrible, however it's disjointed and it doesn't really justify its being made, save for how they wanted to pander to China, of course. Anyways, let me know your opinion down below in the comments about these changes. And also let me know whether you are excited about Shang-Chi and if you want to watch this film, if you feel interested in watching the film, or if you're going to wait the 45 days that it's going to be in theaters and watch it on Disney Plus, or if you are trying to sail the high seas of pop culture and entertainment and try to watch it in another format that does not entail, does not force you into giving in to the mouse's desires. Nothing is judged here, you are free to express your opinion, let me know down below in the comments. And until next time everyone, peace out!